Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at how to work with images in Google Docs. Images can be great ways to develop or demonstrate understanding of a topic, but they also often just make a document look more approachable for the reader. So in Google Docs, you can click on the insert menu and go to image. And there's a few different options here. The three options at the top are the ones I use most often, which is uploading from the computer, searching the web or from Google Drive. You can also access via your photos, your URL or by a camera, but it is often these three options that I use the most. So if I do upload from the computer, I can select a file and click open and it will insert it in my dock wherever my cursor was placed. If I'm doing a search from the web, it actually takes me into the search field here and so I can do my search. And the benefit of this is that it's a safe search, but also that all the images that it shows have Creative Commons usage rights, so I can use these. So again, I can click on an image and click insert and it will insert it into my document. Once we have our images in our document, we then need to think about where we want to place them. If I click on an image, you can see these options then appear. We have the first option and that's by default it comes in inline, which means it's in line with the text. Now this is helpful if you want the image to stay with the text all the time. Also helpful if you want quite small images that maybe move around with the text or link with the text nicely. If I expand that though, another option and the next option is to wrap text. So this means the text goes alongside the image and as I move the image, so I could move it over to the other side and the text wraps around the image. One thing to be aware of when we're using this option is we can actually adjust the margin. So at the moment, the text is 3.2 millimeters away from the image. So I could change that if I want a greater border or a smaller border. Another way of managing that is also using the crop image tool. So if I click on the crop image tool, I can then change the cropping of my image and remove some of that white space I had there. If we go to the next option, and this is to break text. So this means if I move my image around, it won't be embedded in the text or text wrapping around it, but just will completely separate itself from the text. So perhaps this would be a better option for this map, for example, if I was to make that bigger and it could make it that break text so it's completely separate from the text. Another option you have is to put your image behind or in front of the text. So if I click behind, you can see it then comes behind the text, but it's also quite difficult to read. So if you wanted to do an image like this for a watermark, for example, you can then go into image options. And if I change my adjustments, I can add transparency onto that image. So you'd want it quite transparent and you could have that as a watermark behind your text so the text is still legible. If I was to bring that to the front, you actually see very little difference and I haven't got any good ideas yet why you might want to use uh, in front of text, but I'm sure there are some good reasons out there. Once you've chosen the position of your image in relation to the text, you then need to choose whether you want it to move with the text or be in a fixed position. So at the moment it's marked with move with text and this means if I am typing more into my document, the image will move with the text that it's actually linked to. If I actually change that to fixed position on page, if I then start typing elsewhere, so it will then stay in that position. So it really depends how you want your image to be used. With your image, also worth noting there's some other image options you can use. If I click on the image options, so just in relation to the position, I can choose here also the move with text or the fixed position. I can choose the location on the page if it is a fixed position. And with the fixed position, I can choose some presets that it has for me. So if I wanted it in the center of the page to not move, there it is. Let's delete that image so we can see that. And so this is a fixed position, so it won't move even if I'm typing around it. Other options you have, you can adjust the size and the rotation of the image. You can recolor it, or you can adjust the brightness 
and the contrast here as well. So I hope this has shown you some great options to insert position and adapt your image so that it has great impact within your Google Doc.